the reading from the money in the law of attraction and also we're going to do daily freedom release method that's the bonus edition so it's going to be the bonus every single day and it's so nice to release and uplift and align and just moving forward in a newness and feeling our own alignment it's not great so so good so um yeah let's uh continue say continue reading we are now on page 139 it's the part four it's the perspectives of health weight and mind and we are starting from page 141 so this is going to be fun for sure always always fun to expand and to enjoy our own inner beingness so uh yeah good Happy beautiful day, Jan. So, so good. So, I want to enjoy a healthy body. Bringing your physical body into alignment is a tremendously valuable thing to do for two reasons. The first, there is no subject that people think more about than their own body. And that is logical since you take it with you you everywhere you go second since every perspective or thought that you have flows through the lens of your physical body your attitude on virtually every subject is influenced by the way you feel about your physical body because science and medicines have been slow to acknowledge the connection between mind and body between thoughts and outcomes and between attitudes and results, most people are re relying in a plethora of contradictory guidance relative to their bodies. Whenever the basis of an understanding is flawed, no amount of patching it with methods, methods portions, or remedies can bring consistently pro provable results and because the alignment of energies for each individual varies varies because of such a variety of factors in beliefs desire expectations and early and current influences influences it is a little wonder that remedies remedies that work every time are non-existent and it is no wonder that most are truly confused about their physical bodies. When you attempt to gather and process information about what is happening with other people's bodies, instead of utilizing your own emotional guidance system to understand your current alignment or misalignment of energy, it is tend amount to using a roadmap from a different country to plan your role in your own country. That information simply has no bearing on you and where you are right now. You have been given so much information that is contradictory to that which we know to be and to the law of, a, of the universe, that we are extremely happy to talk to you about you and your body relative, relative to the greater picture. We want to assist you in finding a clear understanding of how to be a healthy being who is physically fit, who looks at, who looks as you want to look, whole in terms of mind and spirit and body. And when you use your mind to deliberately focus your thoughts to align with the thoughts of your inner being or spirit, your physical body will be manifestational evidence of that alignment. I want to balance my desires and experiences. It is not possible to bring your physical body to a state of perfect health by only thinking about the physical aspects of your being and then offering action regarding your physical body. Without an understanding of the connection between the physical you and the non-physical vibrational inner you, there can be no consistent understanding or control. In other words, while it may feel to you that the path to a good feeling 
good-looking body will be a result of your behavior in terms of food intake and activity. It is really much more about your vibrational alignment between the physical and non-physical aspects of your being. Once you accept the totality of your being and you make that vibrational alignment your top priority, you are well on your way to achieving and maintaining your desired physical body. But if you use conditions of others, experiences of others, and opinions of others as you go gauge to wellness, gauge to wellness, you will not be able to control the condition of your own physical body. In other words, as you strive for a physical standard based on comparison with the experiences of others rather than striving for your personal alignment between you and you, you will never discover the key to control over your own body. Happy beautiful day, Shani. I need I need I need compare my body to others and even compare my body to others we would like to assist you in understanding that there is not one state of being that is correct one or even the most wanted one for there are a great many varieties of states of physical bodies that have been intended by you as you emerge into this physical body if it had been your intent to all be the same more of you would be the same but you are not. You come forth with all sorts of vari varieties of size and shape and flexibility and dexterity. Some are stronger and others are more agile. You came with great variety, adding all sorts of differences that are, uh, that are of tremendous advantage to the whole. You came forth in your great variety to add balance to this time and place. And so we would like to encourage you to. And so we would like to encourage you, rather than looking at yourself and acknowledging that you are lacking in this, in this or in that characteristic, as most of you do, we would like to assist you in looking toward the advantages of that which you are. In other words, as you are accessing or analyzing your physical body, Spend a great part of your time looking for the advantages that it offers, not just to you, but to the balance of all that is. Jerry, I recall that when I used to work out on a trapeze, trapeze, trapeze with the circus, I was too heavy to be what they called a flyer and I was too light to be what they call a catcher. So the trapeze wasn't my place to be comfortable unless we got a heavier catcher or a lighter flyer, so to speak. So I was still an a realist. Was it a realist? A realist? A realist? But I performed what was called an a rail bar act. Bar act where nobody had to catch me and I didn't have to catch anyone. But I didn't see myself lacking because I didn't think that I should have been bigger or smaller. I just found something I liked to do that still gave me the same general feeling of, of performing as a, a realist. A realist. Abraham. Good. That is excellent. You were good. good, so good. What if I saw myself as perfect, Jerry? So, couldn't we look at our way then and our state of mental ability or talent in the same way? Could each of us see ourselves as perfect, Abraham? We are not necessarily encouraging you to look at whatever your current state is and proclaim it as perfect because you will always be striving for something that is just beyond what is. The finding aspects of your current experience that feel good when you focus upon them will cause you to align with the perspective of your inner being, who is always focused upon your well-being. We encourage you to feel for the agreement between 
your thoughts about your body and your inner being's thoughts about your body, rather than trying to get the conditions of your body to agree with conditions of other bodies that you see around you. Pushing against unwanted attracts more unwanted. Abraham. As you are understanding that you are creating through your thoughts rather than through your action, you will accomplish many more of your desires with far less effort. And in that, and in the absence of struggle, you will have much more fun. You are offering fun in, a, in every waking moment, and so achieving a prospens prospensity to positive, good feeling thoughts will serve you extremely well. You were born into a society that, that, that began warning you against unwanted things as soon as you arrive and over time most of you have taken on a guarded stance you have a war against drugs and a war against aids and a war against cancer and most of you really believe that they that the way to get what you do want is to defeat what you do not want and so you give and so you give so much of your attention toward pushing away from you what you do not want where if you could see the law of attraction as we see it, if you could accept yourself as the attractors by virtue of the thought that you are holding you hold you would understand that you would understand what a backward approach most of you are taking as you say i'm sick and i want not to be sick so i'll beat this illness i'll take this action and, and i'll defeat this illness you are from your position of guardedness and defen and defensiveness and negative emotion holding on to that illness my attention to lack attracts more lack abraham every subject is really two subjects there is the subject of what you're wanting and there is a subject of its lack Regarding your body, since every thought that you think is filtered through your perspective of this body, if do this body does not feel the way you want it to feel, or look the way you want it to look, it is very natural that a large number of your thoughts, a very imbalanced proportions of your thoughts, would be slanted toward the lack side of the equation rather than toward the truly desired side of the equation the same from your place of lack you will attract only more of that and that is the reasons most diets do not work you're aware of your fat you're aware of your body looking the way you do not want it to look and so when it gets bad enough that you cannot stand it anymore either from your own perspective or because others are scrolling it at to you at you scrolling at you then you say I can't bear this negative place anymore. I'm going to go on a diet and I'm going to get rid of all of this stuff that I do not want. And yet, your attention is to the stuff that you do not want. And so you hold it to you. The way to get the way to get to where you want to be is to give your full attention to what you do want, not to give your attention to what you do not want wants planting fear seeds planting fear seeds does grow more fear jerry dear friend my mentor in business volunteered to be a part of medical study he said that even thought he was in brilliant health, he was willing to participate if it could be of value to others. Because so many men his age in that area were dying from a certain disease, well, it seemed like only a matter of weeks before we received a message from him that he had been diagnosed with the illness. And now he's no longer in physical form, but he didn't seem to have a fear of the disease. Did he create it in his body by merely focusing on it? Abraham. Mm -hmm. 
It was his attention to it. In other words, it was his intent to be of value for others. And so he allowed them to probe and poke and look. And in the probing and poking and looking, he received enough stimulation of thought from the others to make him aware of the possibility. Not only the possibility, the probability. They planted within him the seed of probability. And then, with the probing and the poking and the looking, his body responded to what then became the balance of his thought. It is a wonderful example that you have offered because that disease was not within him until the attention to the disease was within him, was within him. But once the attention to the disease was within him, within him, then his body responded in kind. The potential for wellness or illness is always within you. The thoughts you choose determine which you experience and to what degree you experience it. Hmm. Must attention to illness attract illness? Jerry, how much can be can we toy with these faults of illness? For instance, a person can catch on television and offer to come down for a free examination of some part of his or her body. And if the person says, oh well, I think I just go to do that. I feel fine, but why not since it's free? What are the chances of that leading to what you're talking about? A stimulation of thought and eventually an unwanted result? Abraham. Nearly 100%. Because of the attention to illness in your society, your diseases are running rampant. With all of your medical technology, all of the tools, all of the discoveries, that there are more people who are critically ill today than ever before. The prevalence to the prevalence of so much several several illness is predominantly because of your attention to illness you say how much can we toy with it and we say you are very particular about what you eat and what you wear and what you drive and yet you are not particular about what you think we would encourage you to be particular about what you think keep your thoughts on the side of the subject that is in harmony with your warning. Think about wellness, not about lack of it. Think about being as you want to be, rather than the lack of it. Your illness are not born and perpetuated only because of your negative attention to illness. Remember that illness st stems, stems from your feeling of vulnerability, vulnerability to guardness. Train your thoughts on all subjects not only the subjects of physical health, in the direction of what you desire, and through the improved emotional state that, you're, that you accomplish, your physical well-being will then be assured. Is my, attention, is my attention predominantly focused on well-being? Jerry, another dear friend on our, an, on ours, of ours recently built a room onto her house so that her mother-in-law, whose health had really worsened it, could come to live with her. Her mother-in-law spoke almost constantly about how bad she felt, how bad her health was, how unhappy she was with life, and about this surgery and that surgery. Then our friend's mother, who was 85 years old, came out to visit for the holidays. She had never been in a hospital in her life before. But within a week of staying in that house with, his, with this other lady, who was continually speaking of illness, her own health plummeted dramatically. She was hospitalized, she was hospitalized and then was placed in a nursing home. Could someone's health fail failed so dramatically as a result of only a few days of negative influences? Abraham, the potential for illness or wellness lies within all of you at all times. 
And whatever you give your attention to begin to foster within you the manifestation of the essence of that thought, thought is very powerful. While it is not necessary most people have lived to be 85 years of age, have already been receiving substantial negative influence about their physical body. You are constantly bombarded, bombarded with thoughts of failing health, of failing health, a need to buy medical insurance, a need to buy burial insurance, a need to get your will in order to prepare for your death, and so on. So this woman did not receive her first negative influence about her physical well-being from the other woman in that house. However, since she was already teetering there, somewhat, somewhat unstable about her own long white, long witty, long witty, long white, long witty, the intensity of the other woman's conversation and the response she noticed that is extracted from the people who surrounded her to tip the balance of her thoughts enough that negative symptoms became immediately apparent. Apparent. And then, as she turned her attention toward her own negative symptoms, in that intense environment, those symptoms increased even more rapidly. When someone comes into your experience who stimulates your thoughts so that your thought is predominantly upon illness rather than wellness, upon lack of well-being rather than, rather than upon well-being, where you are in place where you're feeling vulnerable or defensive or even angry, then the cells of your body begins to respond to the balance of that, of that thought. And yes, it is possible that in a matter of weeks or even days or even hours, this negative process could begin. Everything that you are living is, a, is as a result of the thoughts that you are thinking. And there is not an exception to that. Others' physical evidence needs be my experience. Others' physical evidence needn't be my experience. Abraham, as you, see, as you see physical evidence around you, very often that physical evidence seems more too real to you than a thought. You say things to us such as, Abraham, this is really real. This isn't just a thought, as if what is really real and the thoughts are two separate things. But we want you to remember that the universe does not distinguish between your thoughts of current reality and thoughts of imagined reality. The universe and the law of attraction are simply responding to your thought, real or imagined, imagine, current or remember. Whatever evidence you see around you is, you is nothing more than the, man, man, than the manifestational indicator of some of thoughts. And there is no reason for what others are creating with their, with their thoughts to cause you to feel frightened or vulnerable. There is no such thing as unchangeable condition. There is not a physical situation. No matter what the state of negative de degeneration that cannot receive a wellness, but it requires an understanding of the law of attraction, guidance represented by emotion, and willingness to deliberately focus upon things that make you feel good. If you can understand that your body is responding to what you are thinking, and if you could hold your thoughts where you want them to be, all of you would be well. How can I influence all toward maintaining health? Jerry, so what would be the best thing we could do to either maintain or regain perfect health or to influence others around us toward their perfect health. Abraham, actually, the process for regaining health and maintaining health are one and the same. Focus upon more things that feel good. The biggest difference between regaining and maintaining is that it is easier to think good feeling false when you feel good than when you feel bad. So maintaining health is much easier to do than regaining health. The best way to influence others to good health is to live it. The best way to influence, influence others to sickness is to get sick. We understand that for those who are now in a place where they do not want to be, it sounds very simplistic to just find a better feeling thought, but it, 
but it is our absolute promise to you that if you were to be determined to improve the way you feel by deliberate by deliberately choosing thoughts that feels better you would begin to see immediate improvement in anything that is troubling you so that's so good that's the one that's that's for today now let's move on to the next this is gonna be fun so we are going to do some release method freedom release method so this is going to be fun so moving on have we already been uh, doing some freedom release method uh, from yesterday so i just continuously go forward with that it's from abraham now i've been picking up things from what i've been writing things down and then i have been writing it down and then we're going to do some releases and uplifting from that energy from abraham now that is three times a week uh, every tuesday thursday and uh, saturday you can check out on the abrahamnow.com it's a really good one if you were liking listening to abraham you can listen to our now live every every week until the end of june so it, it's a really magnificent experience to to be a part of uh, abraham now and uh, for sure i would say a lot of expansion so there is opportunities but for sure uh, you got yourself you have your own alignment so know for sure you don't need anything outside of yourself for still feeling good inside of yourself and feel your guidance and feel your alignment and and moving toward the, those things that feels good to you and, and experience them more and more you got it it's all in you and it's more to come always so never ending human story there so let's do some freedom release method this is gonna be fun so the freedom release method is like this you take a deep soul breath in and you hold it and i say our statement as a release of blocks blocks and barriers with and you can say it in your own mind and you can feel it just the words and when I say finish this statement, you read it out. So this is like an example, it's like this. I release all blocks and barriers with, and then a statement. And then when I say the statement, you easily in general read it out. And then and there is a new statement and I'm uh, and I say, another one is I'm filled with love, joy and appreciation. That, and this is the same process you take a deep soul breath in and then I say I'm filled with love joy and appreciation that or with or for and the statement and when I finish you read it out so it's a just an energy thing it's a beautiful thing just a beautiful energy thing for aligning and uplifting the energy to become more yes that's the what's the the freedom releases freedom release method is about it's aligning the energy to to feel better and better and better and, and more and more and more and better it feels better it gets better it feels better it gets better it gets better it feels better it feels better it gets and, and on and on and on and on and easier and easier it gets easier and easier it gets so and it's fun because it's it's never stops <laughs> so it's nice it's nice to come together for co-create with yourself and with each other so let's go take a deep slow breath in and hold it. I release all blocks and barriers with relaxing and quieting my mind. And easy and gentle, breathe it out. Take a deep so breath in and hold it. I'm filled with love, joy, and appreciation that I can let everyone be where they are and I can be who I am. Breathe out. Easy and gentle. Yes. Because it's individual, everything. I don't need to focus outside for feeling good. I don't need to complain about anything. I'm so free to just be me and feel good as much as I can and to allow myself to be in that feel good now and more. That's my freedom. 
that's our freedom that's every individual person's freedom that's every human's freedom every living freedom so take a deep slow breath in and hold it i release all blocks and barriers with i can take the path of least resistance and easy and gentle breathe it out good one you can take the path of least resistance good take a deep slow breath in and hold it i'm filled with love joy and appreciation then i can gently go with the flow and breathe out Yes, you can. You can gently go with the flow. You can calibrate into the energy of what things that feels good. And I can take the path of least resistance. I can take that path of most allowed. What a nice thing. It's always available to us. Take a deep, slow breath in and hold it. I'm filled with love, joy, and appreciation that loving humanity unconditionally is natural. It is me. I am unconditional. Love more. And breathe out. Easy and gentle. Take a deep, slow breath in and hold it. I'm filled with love, joy, and appreciation. Feeling appreciation for humanity is natural. It is me. I am unconditional. Appreciation for all that is. More to come. An easy and gentle breathe out. This is a good one. Take a deep soul breath in and hold it. I'm filled with love, joy, and appreciation that more I allow, more I allow myself to feel better. And better it feels, better it gets. And better it gets, better it feels. And easier and easier and easier and more to come. And easy and gentle breathe out. That's how it works. The allowingness. Good. Goody goody, and then we go to the next page. Here. Let's see. So so good. Moving on to the next. Take a deep slow breath in and hold it. I release all blocks and barriers with I don't need the manifestation to feel the solution. An easy and gentle breathe out. Mm. take a deep soul breath in and hold it i'm filled with love joy and appreciation that my solution is feel good now and more to come so, and easy and gentle breathe out feel good now and more to come yes more feel good now and more to come and feel good now and more to come and feel good now and more to feel and that's natural i came forth with feeling good and i into this physical body i desire to come into this physical body and i always and i felt good before i came into this physical body and now as i'm aligning with my feel goodness in my physical body there's more to come so good so the next one Take a deep soul breath in and hold it. I release all blocks and barriers with I do remember who I really am. 
and easy and gentle breathe out. Yeah, all of us know, we remember, we remember it before we came into this physical body. And this energy is always forward focused and in the newness. And when we are aligned, then we know and we remember and we are moving forward in the newness of it. So good. So take a deep, slow breath in and hold it. I feel with love, joy and appreciation that questions like, why wouldn't you know what feels good? Feels good. It's a great feeling to know that I always have a, a guidance system from within. Yes. Isn't that a nice thing? And then easy and gentle breathe out. Why wouldn't you know what feels good feels good? From the question, but it leads up to know that feels good. It, we know, we know what feels good. We all know, we know when we're feeling good. We know who we are. So good, so take a deep slow breath in and hold it. I release all blocks and barriers with, I activate it before it happened. And easy and gentle breathe out. I activate it before it happened. Before any situation, before any experience, you activate that thought and that feeling before it happened. And when you activate and thought and feeling that feels good to you, before it happened, it happened. So it's all about how we are feeling in the now, how we are experiencing those things that are happening right now, how we look at it. And more we are looking at it as we are now, unconditional love, feeling better and better and better, and more to come, more to experience in that space. So take a deep, slow breath in and hold it. I'm filled with love, joy, and appreciation that well-being is a choice of me. Well-being is a choice of me. And easy and gentle breathe out. Next one. Take a deep, slow breath in and hold it. I release all blocks and barriers with, it's in the vortex what I want. And easy and gentle, breathe out. Take a deep, slow breath in and hold it. I'm filled with love, joy and appreciation and I believe in my reality, in my vibrational reality, in my vortex, pure love source energy. Easy and gentle breathe out. That's a good one. I believe in my reality, in my vibrational reality, in my vortex, pure low source energy. So, so good. Really good energy. Yes, that's where things takes form. Easy, gentle, and in a fun, always in a satisfaction way. So, so fun. So let's move on to the next one. Take a deep, slow breath in and hold it. I release all blocks and barriers with look for where she is or he is. And breathe out. Yeah. And that is look for where he is, sure where she is, but look for where everything is is for you for looking from that next one. Take a deep, slow breath in and hold it. 
I really, I'm filled with love, joy, appreciation for unconditional love. That's where I look for where everything is. And breathe out easy and gentle when we're looking in from the unconditional love from ourself we can then say looking for where she or he or anyone is from that space from within from within ourselves you see inside ourselves so who is observing it it's me who is feeling it it's you it's individual so when we can look from the unconditional from where we are then we can look for where he or she is from that space too. Is that in the same frequency? Yes, when they are there and you feel in the alignment with who you are, that's the frequency. So good. So take the last one. Take a deep soul breath in and hold it. I release all blocks and barriers, barriers with there is a balance in all things. And easy and gentle, breathe it out. There is balance in all things. And this is the last one. So take a deep soul breath in and hold it. I'm filled with love, joy and appreciation that breathing abundance in and abundance out it's natural to me it's who i am and easy and gentle breathe out yes you feel that so good when you have no resistance in your breathing in and breathing out and you allowing abundance in abundance out no resistance to it but then you can feel at ease as you're breathing in and breathing. that's the power of the meditation you ease up everything. There is no resistance. You only quiet, focus on your breathing. The mind quiet. What happened? The, right, the energy arises. There is abundance of in and out breathing. So there is always abundance in and out. You see, as you're breathing in and breathing out, you don't have to be conscious aware of it. But when you are, and you are on, aware of just being focusing on the breathing and how it quiet the mind and rises the energy from within then you have a clear clarification from the energy of who you truly are and as you more moving you're in the direction of feeling it more and more then it will be deliberately experienced more and more as you're focused in there you see all is well all is good so love you guys so so much and see you tomorrow namaste Enjoy.